morning, friends. Um, I've kind of put away what I was doing. I was working on some seed bead um, brick stitch, and I got a little frustrated with it. Um, I'm trying to do, like, Marvin Martian. <laughs> and uh, it is got a lot of adding, subtracting, and I'm using the 11 O's, which are really small. They are they're this size here. And, uh, yeah, they're not necessarily cooperating. So I said, you know what? Yeah, um, I made some fudge, and I put them in this these little silicone um, molds because I wanted to add a bunch of peanuts to them. And peanuts are very, when in the, I make uh, keto fudge, which is very good, by the way. Um, but when I put it in the dish to cool and I add the peanuts and everything, it's very hard to cut through with, the, with those peanuts because it's been in the freezer. And anyway, so I just put peanuts in the bottom of here, just poured the, the, um, the hot fudge on top of it and put them in the freezer and they came out really good. But I was looking at this and I saw this little indent here and I'm going, you know what, that's kind of cute. I bet I could do some jewelry with those. So I took two of the molds and, uh, because let's face it, when we see something cool, that's what our brain goes to. All right, let me just get a little puddle of the UV resin, and this is the Let's Resin Hard Type Clear. And I'm going to be using, who is this by? This is CJ Cheng Kai Ji, I don't know what it says, Mica Powders. My husband bought them for me on Amazon. He is so sweet. Um, love Mica Powders. Uh, let's see. There is... Huh. huh. I have not opened this one before. See? It still has a little thingy on it. Thingy. The cover. Let's see if I can get this off. Hmm. I don't want to ruin my nails. It's not ruin on them. I don't want to, like, bend them backwards. Yeah, I... Not one of those people who, who spend a lot of time and worry about nails. And I haven't worn makeup in, wow, 50 years? <laughs> Maybe longer? Isn't that terrible? Huh. I think last time I wore makeup I was in high school. So, yeah. Yeah would make it 50 years and then it was only um oh I dropped that in there shoot it was only mascara and maybe a little bit of eyeliner yeah I'm not I'm not one of those people who I find lipstick gross I guess because I see so many people leaving marks everywhere and I find that gross. So, but my my niece sells a um, some lipstick and stuff. Um, anyways, it it doesn't wipe off, so it's on there. So it's that I probably could get behind if I was going to go back to ever wearing makeup or trying to wear makeup or. I mean. I'm not big into that kind of stuff, but anyways, Julia, and I wish I had her, um, <clears throat> the name of her website, or her, yeah, her website, she's on Facebook, but anyways, I would, uh, I'd give her a plug right now, but I'm sorry, Julia, I'm sure Tina could pop it down in the comments, or Joel, her dad, um, watches my video so he could pop it down there so if you guys ever wanted some really good makeup tips and and uh, I don't even know what the name of her the makeup line is but I do know it's really good quality stuff and 
And Julie is beautiful. I mean. So. Yeah. So hopefully Joel will post it down in the, the comments or Tina or, or somebody. I don't know if Julia watches my stuff. Probably not. She's awfully busy. She's a mom and she's got the a wife. She's yeah. She's a mom and a wife and she has um her business and she's young. But uh yeah. I remember those days being a mom and and everything you know, yeah. Everything was busy, busy, busy. And now it's just Ralph and me here. My uh, my sons are have their families. Bills up in uh, Tennessee, and uh, he has two. Teenagers, and that not a scary thing. And uh, he's got a a really good job. It's demanding, and sometimes it you know he's like, uh. but uh, see, I just I want to just put this in that little the ridge in the bottom. Okay, and now I'm going to cure that. Put that under the UV light. My husband got me this really nice um, light from uh, Let's Resin that has lights on the bottom and lights on the top. And it's got magnets so you can pick it off. So if all you want to do is the bottom, you can do that. Or if you just wanted to take the top. See, I could take the... Uh, probably not while it's running. <laughs> all right. Maybe I'll show you later. But, uh... Yeah, and that's really cool. So we have the pink outline. So what do we want to do with the, well, it's kind of, what was the color? The color was, that's, ooh, that's fireworks red is what color that was. Very appropriate for this July week. Okay, let's go with something crystal white. The red and white would probably look good together. I don't know too much about this white. Have I used it yet? We'll see. Nope. <laughs> so, again, use tools, not nails. All right. As you can see, that's really glued down well. It looks kind of silvery. All right. Anyways, while we're waiting that, let me show you what I was working on. See? This right here is Marvin Martian's... Eh. See, this is his the side of his face. There's his eye. That's, that's his eye. And uh, this is his mask and his this thing here. So, yeah, it's it's really little. And these beads are very hard to work with. These are not. These white ones, they're bigger. These peach ones, I think it's the clear that makes it hard. And I picked the wrong, wrong thread. <laughs> this is a very thin thread. but And it's metallic. And it's coated. And it's, it's just, yeah, don't use that. Use I've been better off just using regular sewing thread. But that's what he's supposed to look like. Uh, and then I want to... My name is Bethany, so I wanted to do a B. Just because I have some... Um, some uh, uh, jewelry that has a B on it. And I, I just thought, thought it would be cute together. Alright, let's take these out. Those are cured. And... I am going, I think I'm going to just paint these in, because you can do that, okay. and then put a clear on it. It gives it a different look, 
you can just, and it doesn't take much at all, you can mix it in with the resin. Or you can just paint it onto your silicone molds. And the good part about it is the mica powder does not stick to cured resin. If it's half cured, it will stick to it. But since I don't want the white up onto the red, really? So, all right, now let's give it a little, little juice here. And some more over here. But once the red, it's set in the resin, it won't like brush off or anything. So that's really cool. And I will have to drill holes in this because these are not, um, I mean, they're not designed for earrings. And I do have a little thing here to clean off my, my thing here so I can use this to put the resin out to the edge. Do, 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 do. And there's a little bit floating on the top of this, but that's okay because this will be the back, I think. It might be the front. I don't know. I'm thinking it's the back. I'm pretty sure it's the back. Oh, we have an air bubble up there. Come on up. Come on up, air bubble. Pop. Hmm. I'm going to stink. And since this is silicone, the fire and the heat will not, there it popped, okay. Will not bother it. Ta-da! Okay, back under the lamp. I was, uh, was watching a video on making earring wires, and it's actually not that hard. Um, this wire, this is not the right kind of wire. Uh, and I don't have any wire out here. I actually used, I actually used this here to fix a bracelet. It had, um, it had a leather part that had come out from me things. And so I was, it took me about, about an hour to get it done. But hey, when you're, when you're stubborn. You can fix things that, that people don't know about. I right. might not have put that in long enough. Okay. All right, that'll be interesting, huh? Just a shot. All right, let me go get that, show it to you. Okay, what happened was, I don't even know which side it was. I can't tell. Anyways, this, whoops, there's a leather cord that goes through that center part there, connecting these here. Anyways, it goes under this part here. It, it's like, it was like these cords here, but it was a third cord. These are the outside cords. These are the cords that run out here and out here. And then all three cords met up right here. And then they cut the second cord, the middle cord here, and it was tucked under here. So what I had to do, because it pulled out, whoops, what I had to do is feed this wire through all of that down through there, catch that, that uh, cording, and pull it all through. Well, it sounds easy and, you know, when you say it like that, but this is extremely tight. So I had to force it through each one of those little things there. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, it, it's a nice little bracelet. It's all sparkly. It's for people who like sparkles. My daughter-in-law loves anything that's blingy and sparkly. Actually, I know several women who are very much into the sparkles, but each one of these, it has a, a 
a hoop here and a hoop here where the cord is going through. And then it's got all these little gold beads between them and everything. And then in the center here, it's just these here, the hoops with the cord running through them. But it's a nice little bracelet and it's fixed now. So somebody can love it again. All right, let me, um, what I do with it? Huh. Well, I don't know what I did. Oh, there it is. I keep everything in little baggies to keep them clean. It also keeps them from getting all tangled up. And, uh, All better so we think I fixed that yesterday I was gonna say we fixed it but you weren't there um, all right on this here you see all the sparkles still in that <laughs> just take a paper towel all it is is a very 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 fine glitter I mean it's it's a special glitter because it's made from mica but yeah and it sparkles all right so I put that away. Ah, they're done. Let's see what they come out like. All right, nice and hard. Flip them over. Ta-da! It's not very shiny, but that has to do with the mold. Okay? So what I'm just going to do is I'll top coat it. Also need to sand that because that's sticking up a little bit right there all right now spread this all out to the very edge out to the this one I was watching a video today on a, it's it's a like a reuse recycle type thing no it made me think about it. it's my butter paper here because uh, I reuse my butter papers I mean all they are is um, wax paper and uh, I actually don't have any store-bought wax paper but this stuff works really good especially for mixing paints and stuff on all right let's put that in there okay and when that's finished then I'll have a pair of, of hearts I gotta sand the back I do need to trim that up a little bit I may be able just to trim it um yeah let me put that under there to cure too and uh yeah drill a hole in them and then we got little hearts that we can do something with and if i want i can actually put a color on the back of it because it's got that i i'll have to see how translucent the the white is and i it looks like i can see through it pretty good when i'm looking at where it's curing um And uh, I can put a, like a color behind it. So that might be cool. We don't know. We will see. You want to see my my thing here? No. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to take that off the sand. All right. See, that right there is my, my, uh, my new lamp. As you can see on the top, it's got a two, a three, and a five minute. You just push the button. One button is... One push is two minutes, two pushes are three minutes, and three pushes is five minutes. And if I pushed it again, it would shut it off. All right. Anyways, I'll be back. Okay. You might notice that the lights are a little different because I had to, uh, to unplug one light to uh, plug in my Dremel. Put this around here where it was sticking up a little bit. Now I'm 
this one here. You see where it's sticking up? Can you see that? And we're just going to just trim around there a little bit. Since I'm going to be putting uh, a, another layer on the back side here, I'm not going to worry about worry about um, sanding this because that will take care of that. Just feel it around. Oh, that one's got a little bit still right there. All right. All right. Scissors down. Um, should we back do it first? Ah. <sighs> Probably. Um, what color? You get all kinds of gorgeous colors. So, what we need to do is find out what would go. No, definitely not. Um, maybe just a black chain. Uh, that thing. This is, yeah. I think we'll do a black background. Why not? All right, let's get our paper back out. Actually, it never went away. It just kind of got slid over there. All right. Right there. Get my spoon again. Spoon it. I'm getting way too much of this. There we go. It doesn't take a lot of mica powder to color things. So. And I could have just used black paint too, because this is already sparkly. I didn't need to have any of the shimmer or shine that in a mica powder and it would have been cheaper <laughs> but hey these were sitting right here right, let's flip those over so they're both facing you know what let me get this here where is it uh, where are you oh it's terrible when I clean and I clean, I misplace things. There it is. That right there. And uh, that was, hmm, I want to say it was underneath maybe a meat thing we got at the grocery store. I'm not sure if it was trash, <laughs> but it works really good with this. And, uh, and resin doesn't stick to it. And it's a nice hard um, slab or whatever, so that it you can put it, you can put, use it to lift this here. Because with this going all the way to the edge, I will probably get it on my fingers, trying to move it around. Let me get a toothpick. Toothpick. All right. Let's work smarter. All right, let's hold it down with the toothpick. And then just use this to go all the way to the edges. Come on. I hope that's pretty. I have no idea what it's going to look like. All right, let's go over here on this one. May have mixed up too much resin, but it won't be wasted because it will go into that pendant or our waist knot pendants. <laughs> I think that I'll call them that waist knots. These are my waist knots. Uh, Mm 
Anyways, I was watching this uh, recycle show, and it was, uh, they were talking about, you know, on a milk jug where the, the handles are, there's a, uh, sometimes there's this little thing about this big that doesn't get totally cut away, and they were showing how to, all these different uses for it. I'm going, oh, no, I want one. I, uh, I mean, we get, we get milk all the time and I know I've seen them before, but what they are is when the mold starts getting worn out, they, they're not as sharp. Um, there's little gaps and stuff. Anyways, the in between part where the handle is here, this part here gets, gets, um, gets plastic in it and, uh. It just, you can just punch it out. But they were showing all these different uses for, which I thought were so cool. Because they were using it to, um, just, um, like fold, just rub down folds, like with origami. Uh, they were saying you could use it as a Barbie surfboard. Uh, they were, let's see, what else was there? There was, um, use it as a kid's first knife with Play-Doh and stuff. They, uh, some people actually use it as a knife to cut, um, like the plastic wrapping on things when they're working retail. What else was there? They were using it for a bunch of stuff. It was like, oh, now I need one. Oh, scraping paint off things, um, doing grout, um, <sighs> But anyways, it was cool. All right, let me wipe this off. And let's put that in there. We can cure too. We, uh, if I cure in between times, then when it's sitting here waiting for another um, couple drops of resin, uh, I don't accidentally touch it or drop something in it or something where it makes it a mess. Not that I've ever done that more than, you know, 10, 15 times in my life. All right, this is my block of wood. And you can tell it's got resin all over it. I haven't always been worried so much about what kind of mess I'm making. I clean my spoon, put my spoon away. Um, I have my my Dremel out with a small drill bit. I do have smaller. My husband and I uh, went hunting for these. <laughs> this is, uh, got these at Ace Hardware. They were on clearance, but these are really small. Uh, this is a, it's 0 0.04 of an inch or 1.02 millimeters. Uh, they both basically, this is a, a tenth, uh, not a tenth, a hundredth of an inch bigger. <laughs> but I, I bought all the ones they had. Um, People said, well, they'll break. Um, it's not breaking. It's I lost them. I had I had a couple of them. And I keep them in these little baggies like this here. But they're almost invisible. Well, that's kind of dirty, isn't it? Uh, they're kind of invisible in there because they look like a piece of wire. And so I don't know what I did with it. I use... I probably have used 500 of those little bags in the last couple of weeks. I don't know. Oh, you can see where I hammered some stuff on this. I need to hammer on my metal plate and not on my wooden one. I'll tip it over. That way you guys won't see all those holes. I have termites! No. <laughs> all right. Are you guys done yet? 
Not yet, huh? But, uh, I have been sorting, uh, well, findings and stuff, and I've been, like, these are, those are newer ones. I've got probably five more of these containers right full of findings that I have sorted. Um, you know, I have a bunch of, like, these type findings here, and earrings and jump rings and and I'm not sure why that's sitting there on my my table but it is um but I've, I've been sorting a whole bunch of other stuff too so beads seed beads um chains all right what do, do we like that oh hmm it looks gray. It doesn't look, and the pink doesn't look as pretty now. Still going to use it. I might put another top coat on here. Um, I don't know. But I, I'm not liking that gray look so much. All right. Now, when you're doing these, you want to hold down and you want to put your finger on the, uh, the Dremel here. That is to keep it from going like this here. It's a guide. It will, if you just take my word for it, it will make a difference. And you start it before you put it down on your piece. And then you just bring it. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't tighten the, I didn't tighten it down. I just stuck it in there. All right. Just tighten them down. There is a wrench you can use, but you can just finger tighten it. You push that button, tighten it down. All right. Now let's try this again. <laughs> finger on. Bang on. Ta-da! One hole done. Two holes done. And it makes a different sound once it gets through the, the resin and hits the wood. And see, just the two little holes. All right. There we go. Uh, what I'll probably do is put something on top of that. Maybe a sticker or um, I have some findings that would might look cute on there. We'll see. But I don't, I mean, they're all right. And uh, when I was doing the red, it didn't look red to me, but on here it looks more red. It looked pink. So... Anyways, let's get rid of that. Let's plug our light back in. Let's turn it back on. Ta-da! Look at that. We got light again. All right. Now, this will not fit back into its case with that end. All right. So, we're going to put that away. Put that away. And put everything away. But I just wanted to stop by and... I was thinking on these here, and I said, well, let's try making a pair. Why does that not look like it's all the way through? There's a toothpick. There's a toothpick. Huh. That was... Why is it wet? Look at that. It didn't get cured. It's not cured all the way through, so it, the black must be too dark for it. Okay. Let's bring this back out. Let's put that back in. I don't want to have to drill the hole again. <laughs> That's why I'm cleaning out the thing as best I can. All right. Let's put you back in there and zap you some more. I'm going to zap it for five. And, uh, yeah, that's a shocker. I obviously put way too much of the, the mica powder in there so that it could not penetrate. Well, all right, let's clean this up because that is liquid. I have never seen that happen before. Look at that, you and I, we all saw it together. All right. Cut that up, throw that away. Did you guys cure? Yeah, these are cured. See? 
But that looks like a chicken. Don't that look like a chicken? What do you think? Is that a chicken? That looks like a chicken. <laughs> All right. Uh, hmm. I'm just going to cure that and uh, and that will be a video. We, I'm going to be going out of town, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing another video this week or not. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, and then we are going to St. Simon's. Yay! St. Simon Island is, it's beautiful there. So, And it's hot. It's going to be so hot. But we're going for uh, annual conference for the Global Methodist Church. And I need to clean that up. That's sawdust. That's not good. Um, my husband's a delegate, so since he's paying for the room, we might as well just uh, kind of share. And I get to ride down free. And so, well, this is Bethany with New Life Jewelry Creations, and I will be back again. Bye. All right. We wanted to see what we could do with these here and I have some stickers we could use we could do put like a hmm what have we got small enough that would go on that about the only thing small enough would be that chihuahua all right these are going to be too big Let's see those are just sticker stickers um these are some of those dots that I made with uh, the flowers I made with the uh, diamond dots. Let's see, what is this? These are hearts. We could just put some hearts in there. That probably would be okay. These are stickers. What's back here? Uh, do maybe a tribal. These are rub-on transfer things. I don't know. All right, none of that is speaking to me. Mm, those are possibilities. These are not. And that's way too big. That's not talking to me. Let's see. Flowers here. Let's see. Dinosaurs? No. <laughs> no dinosaurs. Okay. Uh, this is Christmas. Don't really want Christmas. Not feeling the love for cactus. The monsters are too big. Okay, what else we got? Got princesses. Got some nail art. Have some undersea stuff. Not really feeling that. Hmm. Let's see. I got one of these out from before. You know, this would not be so bad. Maybe uh, some bunny rabbits or something on there. Or maybe the bird. Do the llama llama. Llama llama llama. Or the kitty cat. Alright, let's... Let's see. We can see through thing. Uh, not the panda, not the frog. The bunny rabbit? Maybe. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> oh, those are just repeated. Here's the kitty cat. Panda, panda. Llama, llama. Uh, the llama, llama is just a little bit too big. I do like the llama, llama. The turtle. Do I have two turtles? I do have two turtles. Hmm. I'm not into the fruit stuff. Not at all. Should we do the bunny rabbit? Maybe that kitty cat. Hmm. Sunshine. I don't know what that thing is. Oh, it says love. Okay. Eh. 
don't think I'm gonna be using that. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and since these are not, oh, this is the other thing we could try, except for the reds clash, so we can't use that. Is that it? That's it. All right. That's all I have, folks. Um, I did pull up these here, and I was filming, but I'm not filming. But the silver, just because the black there, these just don't look good together. See? It just kind of... No. All right, so. Diamond dots, hearts, or... Some cute little animal. Hmm. Sparkly hearts with the sparkly heart. I don't know. Flowers. I think I'm just going to go with the animals. And. Hmm. Key cats. Not the frog, not the penguin. I keep coming back to the bunny rabbits, so I guess I'm going to do bunny rabbits. Sorry there, whoops, no. Note to self, make sure before you put it down that it is centered. That's too low. They stick really well. <laughs> All right. Try and come over this way just the hair. Oh, a hair! That's a rabbit joke. Okay. Let me come over. I want you to have just a little bit. I'm trying to get a fold in my bunny rabbit. Okay. That's pretty good. I have some spillage when I um, did the back. Hmm. That ain't gonna work. Let's see what will work. Let me open the scissors up. Maybe this will. Here. There. Now I'm, I'm going to put another coat on so those scratches will disappear. But I just couldn't leave it the way it was. All right, let's bunny that bunny. And make, make, make sure we have matching bunnies. Okay, that looks pretty good. That one's still. You're as good as you're getting. All right. Let's put all that stuff away. And let's top coat our bunnies. Yeah, I was going to do this this afternoon. But I ran out of time. We had to go to the blood drive. See? I gave blood. I'm a hero. Yay. Again. Actually, I need a fresh toothpick because I got black resin on the other and put it away. All right. Just cover your face. Cover your face. Sink the rabbit in the resin. Go all the way to the edge. All the way to the edge. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, you're good. Oop, and you're a little bit on the ear. All right. Can you come on over? 
cover your face all the way to the edge. And you'll see you can't tell that that I ever scraped that all up to get that spill off in there. That's the great thing about resin. It's so forgiven. And this sometimes it's not forgiving at all. Okay, so depends on what you're doing with it. I want to let that be right there, but I don't want it to fill the hole. Don't fill that hole. Alright. I may have to drill the holes again. We will see. Hopefully not. Alright, go there, go there. And all right <sighs> anyways we got some rain we've needed rain really bad and we got like buckets and buckets of rain I we got to, we got over an inch of rain very quickly so it's probably the hurricane that's um down in the Mexican Texas area it throws stuff up here so even though we are in Georgia, the center of Georgia, we still get, we still get, you know, the bands of rain, which is, we needed the rain, so that it's not a bad thing. I cleaned this here around with some puddling, so I just cleaned it and put it in here. I'm going to put it here under the light, cure that. I need, you know what I did? I put my paper towels away. So let me look in the garbage. There's a little piece of paper towel right there. It's pretty bad when I have to go back to my own garbage and can't leave that messy, right? Anyways, let me straighten this up while that's um, curing. I keep wanting to say cooking. It's not cooking, it's curing. So, but hopefully I'll be able to get this started to be posted. Um, last time I went to post something, I started it about, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock at night. The next morning I forgot about it, and it was like 10 o'clock before I saw it again. And, uh, it was like 27%. I'm like, what? That's ridiculous. I think I may have gotten some on that, so let's just cure that too. But, um, yeah, that was, that's a long time, and it was a short video. It wasn't even a long video, so I was like, Phew. but, hey. stick to anything. Alright, I can put these away. And uh secure anything on those toothpicks too, so we ain't gotta lose those and but they won't make a mess either. So yeah this is that thread that I was using. Not a good thread for doing beading with so it's a pretty thread but not for beading. I may have to tear that all out, the, um, what I got done of Marvin Martian, and do it with a real thread. I can do that. Not a problem. All right. See how cute they are? Okay, I like these. These came out really cute, and I do like the, the silver behind them. I'm going to cure them for a little bit longer, but I just wanted to show you them. Okay, here's the bunnies close up so you can get a good look at them. Isn't it cute? I think they come out really adorable. So, yeah. 